Welcome back to another Storytime Sunday with me, Maitland Hanley, the owner of All Round, where you should get your merch. Today we have someone that I've known for a minute, maybe two minutes. It's going on to three minutes very soon. He's someone that people have been requesting. He's eating a lot of crackers right now. My guest today is none other than one of my best friends, Corey Roberts. Hello. Yay! He brought snacks. We're just gonna get straight into it today. The first question that obviously everyone is gonna to wanna to know is how did we meet? Well, it was primary school. It was primary school. You were grade five, I was grade six. Yeah, yeah. Same class, weren't really friends to start with, obviously, as every friendship starts. <laughs> yeah, we weren't friends before we were friends. That's it. It's true. I think we um, bonded over wrestling. So Corey and I used to love wrestling and I seen one day he had like a wrestling magazine and I was like, Fuck, I really want to read that magazine. Uh -huh. So I asked if I could read the magazine. He said I could read the magazine. And you read the magazine. Then I read the magazine. <laughs> That's how we met. Um, it was a really romantic story. That's the end of your interview. <laughs> you can go home now. <laughs> so we've known each other since we were like 10 or 11 because Corey's one year older than me. Our birthdays are so close. Mine's the 7th of December. His is the 11th of December. 7-Eleven, like the service station. <laughs> We've known each other, I guess, for 14, yeah, 14 or 15 years. Holy shit, that's a long, long time. time now, hey? Wow. wow. It turns out he lived right down the road from me. We started hanging out more. I'd go down to his house every morning. I remember this one morning. I went to his place and there was like these hedges out the front of his house and then a window behind the hedges. I was walking up and then out of nowhere, Corey just fucking front flips <laughs> through the front window. The whole screen just pops out. He just and does this barrel roll on the ground just to say hello. I've been extra since day one. If only we had a video camera then. Oh yeah, <laughs> that would have been good. We actually did have a ritual. Every single morning I would go to Corey's house before school. You get there so early. Our bus was at like eight o'clock. You get there at like six. Yeah. And we play WWE Raw on <laughs> the original Xbox. Yeah. But I also remember I would have to get up another half an hour early because it took about to half an hour to load, to set up the game so that when you got there, we had maximum games on. <laughs> we get up that early just to fucking play some wrestling. In the morning, I go to Corey's house, we game, we play some <laughs> WWE on the Xbox, we go to school, we come back, and then I go to Corey's house again, and we fucking wrestle pillows. That was our thing. We would wrestle pillows in the lounge room, and then we'd be in the pool, and we'd try to choke each other out and yeah. stuff. Like the Jump suplexes. Off the edge, yeah. Suplexes off the edge and shit. And then there's one thing I remember, the ice blocks. The green sour. They'd been in there for like six months before you <laughs> found them. I'm the only one that ate them. They were delicious. They were terrible. No one liked no one them for some reason. No ate them. But I did. We'll both give off one of the funniest memories together. I'm gonna shoot one from when we were younger. So when we were younger, one morning when we went to go catch the bus, there was uh, this kid there, right? It was a little fucking dickhead. The local Bronya Ferrell. Shout out to you if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> He's been a, a dick to some girl that was at the bus stop or something. Corey is like Superman, kind of. <laughs> Have you seen his biceps? Flex, oh my God. <laughs> Corey was like, oh, damsel in distress. Gonna go save her. He's just flown over there like this and he's plowed straight into it. <laughs> yeah, none of that happened. Corey and I did go over there and confronted this weird kid and he pulled out a pocket knife and the most iconic line I can remember from that day is, <laughs> what are you gonna do with that butter knife? <laughs> <laughs> this kid has a pocket knife, we're in like grade five and six or whatever. There was just no fear of getting stabbed. Corey did punch him, <laughs> stabbed him by the bag and just and threw this kid and then got his bike as well just to, just for extra measure got his bike and then threw that down the hill as well this kid never came back this happens a lot knives remember when we were at marburg skate park and then there was that kid that feral kid from up the road as well he was at the skate park and he had like a mullet i think and he had a knife that day Fire. it's happened twice all right it's happened twice there was another kid that pulled a knife in marburg skate park if you're watching shave your Fucking mullet, it's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I shouldn't say his name, but I remember. Is he, is he your friend now? No, definitely not my oh, friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Funniest memory together. For me, uh, my funniest memory by far is when we went to Thailand in 2012. Yeah. You're only 17 and I was 18, which yeah. in hindsight was a terrible idea. Terrible idea, our parents let us do I that. I had no idea. Thank you. Our second day, we got up early as hell before the bars even opened we're yep. staying at a resort with a pool bar so we're like yeah we'll get down there early turns out still didn't open until 10 a.m <laughs> we, we went to the gym first got in the pool bar at 10 a.m when it opened drank all day oh. met a whole bunch of random people got drunk very sunburnt i think we both got yeah. terribly sunburnt disgusting and i think before the sun even went down we were too drunk like way too drunk. We had an argument that neither of us can remember the uh, the reason why. Don't remember walking home. You punched a wall. I, know I, I think it was a tree. I punched a tree. You punched a 
fucking tree. Woke up with a bloody hand. <laughs> but the funniest thing is that we woke up in the morning. I woke up, rolled over, seen vomit everywhere all over the floor. We were sleeping in two, uh, two queen size beds. There was vomit all between us. And I woke up and I was so angry that you vomited everywhere. I was so mad because there was vomit all through, your, it was through all through your bed. And I was so mad. I was about to get angry and I rolled over and realized there was vomit all in my bed as well. Vomit everywhere. We both vomited everywhere. It's a mesh bin. Oh my God. One of us must have vomited in there. It's just and oozed out of the mesh all over the ground and then we left it too yeah well we, we woke up about half an hour before we had to check out yeah. it was probably like an hour taxi ride into <laughs> Patong from there as well oh. such a miserable taxi ride that that was the first time in my entire life as well that I've ever had a hangover I, I used to drink so much when I was a kid over here and I'd wake up the next morning I'd be fine but in Thailand after that one night that was the first time I ever had a hangover I never knew what it felt like so the whole car trip on Fucking whinging. I'm pretty sure that was every morning. <laughs> that was just one night in Thailand. We have a lot of fucking Thailand stories I'm sure we can talk about in a later date. But for now, I think we're gonna move on to the dumbest thing that we've done together. None of them are legal. <laughs> <laughs> All the dumbest things that we've done together is probably getting into fights. It's not us, it's just other people. Never, never us. It's never us. Other people have always just come to us and been like, hey, I'm gonna throw a fist at your face. You make me sound like a terrible person. Yeah, it's mainly his fault. It's mainly his fault. Right, moving on, describe our friendship. Long. <laughs> <laughs> easy, it's mm. easy. Yeah. I think we've, um, over the years, sort of faded away. Obviously, yep. obviously you went away into the middle of nowhere for a while, but Anytime we link up, it's just super easy. It's always a good time. I think the same, actually. Yeah, I think the same. I think every time we like, we don't have to. It's one of those friendships where we don't have to see each other for fucking like we could not see each other for two years, yeah. and then Pick when up. we see each other, it's like yeah, nothing's ever changed. We're just you know, it's like we haven't not seen each other for two yeah. years. I guess you know what I mean. Like I don't have many best friends. There's like a, I have a small clique that I'll I'll stay with and I'll call best friends because I there's a lot of people out there that just. And try to use and abuse you, man. I've had like a small clique that have always stayed with me and are loyal to me and stuff like that. And Corey's obviously one of those. Right now, Jess has actually written up some rapid fire questions here for me to ask you. I hope you're ready for these. Probably not ready. These questions are by Jess, so if they're a bit funky, that's why. Question one, describe yourself in three words. Very f***ing handsome. <laughs> Tell us a lie you recently told. I think I'm a pretty honest person, man. It's true. He's pretty straight up. One thing I like about Corey is he is super honest. And one thing um, I don't like about going out with Corey is he's <laughs> super honest. Three things you must do every day. Eat breakfast. See my beautiful girlfriend. See your beautiful girlfriend. What a suck that one in Oh there. my God. And get some sleep, man. Eat. Sleep. <laughs> nice. <Yeah. laughs> Next up, besides making love, showering, or swimming, what's another thing you do naked? Fucking hell, Jess. I get naked a lot, actually, while I'm drunk, so drinking. Besides your face, what other body part do you look at the most in the mirror? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My pecs. Your pets? Yeah. Okay, yeah. What is the most useless talent you have? I'm pretty talented and useful. I think growing facial hair. You can grow facial hair really well. Yeah. It's yeah, not that useful. That is probably the thing I'm best at. <laughs> <laughs> he gets a really f***ing solid beard. You can go follow him at... Underscore, 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 Corey. <laughs> Three underscores before his name. That's four, actually. Four underscores and then Corey. That's a lot of underscores, man. Worst habit you'll never break. Um, geez, these are on the spot. I wish I had time to think about them. You don't because it's called rapid fire yeah, questions. Know. Overthinking. Overthinking? Yeah, yep. for sure. Mm. And so I couldn't answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> and there's one last question here for you. You ready? Yep. What is the best merch in the game? Oh, that's easy. All around. <laughs> www.allaroundbymaitland.com <laughs> Anyway, that's the end of our today's little interview story time Sunday with Corey. If you haven't followed him before, from what I just said, go to his Instagram, underscore, 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 C-O-R-E-Y. That's it. Anyway, that's the end of this story time Sunday. So leave us some, uh, leave us some questions for who you want on next week. And Corey's going to f*** off now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>